Lol, I'm on a fax to Mars. I wish I didn't have to do this video, but I'm not letting this go. Uh, 16 states have decided to take a treasonous action and sue President Trump over the state of emergency declaration. The only thing I would say to Mr. Trump is, what took you so long? This should have been done a long time ago, and the border sealed up. And that's all I got to say to him is, what took you so long? But anyway, coalition of 16 states filed suit on Monday to block President Trump's effort to fund his border wall by declaring a national emergency, calling it a flagrant disregard of fundamental separation of powers principle. Get bent. This complaint filed in the U.S. District Court of Nor for Northern California, a traitorous uh, court, is the third in a string of legal challenges already launched against Trump's use of emergency powers since he announced the move during a meandering White House news conference on Friday. Public Citizen, a liberal ab advocacy group, a liberal trader group, filed a suit late Friday in the District of Columbia on behalf of three Texas landowners who would be impacted by the construction of a wall along the border. Yeah, you'll be impacted, all right. You won't have to uh, worry about MS-13 crashing across the border and coming after your families. And Citizens for Responsibility and Ethics, another treasonous group, has filed a motion against the Department of Justice demanding that agency provide documents pertaining to the legal justification of the President's emergency declaration. The states behind Monday's lawsuit argued that Trump engaged in an unlawful scheme which he used when he used the pretext of manufactured crisis. It's not manufactured. I was looking at this. I lived in California for a year, few years back in the 80s. It's not a manufactured crisis. I can see it for myself of lawf unlawful immigration to declare a national emergency and redirect federal dollars appropriated for drug, drug interdiction, military construction, and law enforcement initiatives towards building a wall on the United States-Mexico border. According to the copy of the complaint filed by, obtained by Politico. And this goes on and on. Uh, I'm not going to get too much into this, but I will say this is your civil war brewing right here. These states uh, have declared treason against the United States, in my opinion, and we got trouble. And unfortunately, Artifacts of Mars is stuck behind enemy lines. If this does break out, uh... I'll get the list of states in one moment. Okay. California, Colorado, Connecticut, Connecticut, Delaware, Hawaii, Illinois, Maine, Maryland, Michigan, Minnesota, Nevada, New Jersey, New Mexico, New York, Oregon, and Virginia. A little surprised that Virginia did, but uh, didn't you learn the first time, uh, you Virginians? Uh, do you really want to uh, see blue coats in your state again? Anyway, that's the list of treasonous states. Declaring a national emergency when one does not exist is immoral and illegal. That is bullshit. New York Attorney General Le... <laughs> Unpronounceable James said in a statement, Diverting necessary funds from real emergencies, crime-fighting activities, and military construction projects 
usurps congressional power and will hurt Americans across the country. We will not stand for this abuse of power, and we will fight every tool, fight using every tool at our disposal. You just declared war against the United States, uh, whoever, what you are, uh, unpronounceable James. You just declared war against the United States. And you can bet that if we're up to me, unpronounceable James, that were up to me, you would be served a search warrant and you would be up on charges of uh, sedition at the very least. This is unbelievable that this is happening. Uh, beyond the wave of legal challenges that Trump is already facing, the DNC controlled House of Representatives has filed to challenge the President's declaration when it returns from recess next week. Freshman Alexandria Ocasio Cortez, although sometimes known as Occasional Cortex, and Representative Unpronounceable Castro, D. Texas, announced last week they are planning to introduce a resolution to terminate the President's national emergency declaration. Castro's office said in a statement. So there you have it. Uh, there's your civil war, folks. Uh, they're asking for a fight. Like I said, Artifacts of Mars is behind enemy lines. And I see the emergency for myself. All I need to do is uh, go into any Walmart or there's another store, what are they called? Their food store, I forget what they're called. Uh, but all I hear is... All I hear while I'm in there is that. All illegals. This is treason. Uh, these people, they're, they're trying to put a civil war on us. I didn't want this. Emergency declaration doesn't mean that much anyway. You know, a lot of uh, presidents, presidents have done this in uh, the past. There's never been a problem. I heard the Obama did it for Burundi, whatever that, I don't even know where that is, Africa, I don't know. <sighs> Unbelievable. So this could be a rough ride, folks. Just warning you ahead of time. All these, uh, huh. this is Civil War number two, and... Um, there may not be any stopping this one. And you already know which side Artifacts will be on. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.